G'day guys, and today we're going to do the tips for round two, and uh, big week in round one as it always is, mate. I've got five. How many did you get? Seven for myself, mate. Far A couple right. of those 50-50 games fell my way, mate, so... Very good, very good. We're bright and early for the tipping today, though. It's, it's Monday. Yeah, very early on. Um, I might as well just quit this tipping competition. <laughs> no team sheets for us. We'll be tipping quite a few days in advance. So. <laughs> yeah, any late changes we'll put in the comments. Yeah. But um, we'll get started anyway. Carlton up against West Coast at the main stadium. Who wins? How much? And why? West Coast by 12 for me. Yep. Yes, they have no defence, but I think good midfield performance will be uh, in store for the Eagles, I think, over there. I think they'll be up for their first home game this okay. season. And uh, I don't rate the Blues overly highly, I must say. <laughs> so I'm going with the Eagles. Who are you going, mate? Oh, I'm going with Carlton by seven points, mate. Oh, okay. Already a point of difference, and I yeah. might be down another tip. <laughs> <laughs> I think they got got him last year. Uh, I think Chris Yaron tore him to pieces, and hopefully he does again if he's playing. <laughs> and um, uh, with team sheets, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't rate the Eagles at all. They're not that much harder to beat at home. Um, I think Carlton may bounce back, but the Eagles might bounce back too. So <laughs> differing opinions there. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, yeah, I don't think either of them are gonna put up a terrific contest blockbuster, no. so yeah, um, going with the Blues there, mate. There we go. Next game, we've got Richmond up against the Western Bulldogs at Eddie Had. Who have you gone with, mate? Tigers by 29, mate. 29. Like, the Dogs were pretty good last week, weren't they, beating the Eagles? You know, yeah, they, I found that out. Yes, but I, I think Richmond are, are just a better side, more well-rounded in, in most areas, and um, yeah, yeah. that's why I'm tipping them, I think. They're bat deeper in, in most departments, so... It's good. Um, yeah, Richmond for mine. How about yourself? I've gone with the Tigers by 16 points. Uh, I think the Dogs got them last year by a couple of points. Um, the Tigers, yeah, yeah. not sure yeah, if yeah. they... Uh, had a few injuries, but they were just asleep for most of it. Came back, but um, they have got them the last few times of the Tigers, so, and yeah, they're generally the better side, so I've gone with them. Mm. No Delidio, but that should be fine. I reckon so too, mate. Nice. <laughs> we'll see. That would be very sad if they didn't, but yeah. uh, we'll, we'll find out. Next game, GWS in Melbourne at uh, Star Trek Oval, I think it's called. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who wins here, mate? The Giants for me, mate. He rates the Giants. I, do. I rate them so highly, mate. I, I do. Oh, They're exciting midfield. They just bet the Saints. I know they just bet the Saints, but I only listened to that on radio, so I didn't quite get to hear him. But Cameron looks great. Their midfield, you know, Griffin, he did nothing. Ward was a bit below par. Yeah. Uh, the likes of Whitfield and Shield, they stood up. So, Trelaw. Yes, Trelaw was outstanding. He's so, the best player on the ground. Yeah. Um, Giants for me, I, uh, I think they've got a lot of upside. So, more so than the Ds, but the Ds were very impressive. But Giants for mine, how about you? And also McCarthy, I think he kicked three goals. An yeah. Interesting looking bloke. He is. Oh. Funny looking fella. <laughs> I've gone with Melbourne by 12 points, oh, mate. He's gone the Ds. Yeah, jumping on the bandwagon already. I don't know if they can back it up, but uh, I reckon their performance last week, well, the weekend just gone, I guess. Yeah. yeah it's. Uh, I've got on, got on them a little bit. I don't know how well they'll do, but... Um, yeah, it's a bit of a gut feel. Maybe, maybe an upset. Who knows? So, D's by 12 for me. Yeah, always go with the gut, mate. That's all right. Thanks, mate. Uh, next up, we have Adelaide. And I'm not quite sure who Adelaide Collingwood. Are. They're playing Collingwood. at Collingwood. Eddie had Stadium. Okay, yep. Very good. Uh, who wins? Adelaide for me. How good were they, mate? They were fantastic. Oh, they looked very good. Smoked the roost, didn't they? Over there? Yeah, we watched that on very in uh, great spirit. Yeah, so Adelaide by 29 points for myself. Uh, it's hard to go against them after that performance. Uh, Collingwood yeah. were very good as well. Yeah, I don't they... think it'll be totally one-sided affair. Yeah, they um, pretty much killed Brisbane. Yeah, yeah, but they've already lost Greenwood and side bottoms out as Ooh, well. Oh, that's now. a big so, out. Yeah, you know, it starts to really hurt. That midfield is starting to really. Swan. Yeah, exactly right. So, but the Crows could be a real, um, you know, up and about side this season. At least early on, it looks it. But uh, I think so. How about you? Who are you tipping here? I've gone with Adelaide by 26 points. Yeah, their performance. It's very tough for these tips because we can only base it off one week and, yeah. and the last time they play. But uh, Collingwood generally go all right uh, in Melbourne up against Adelaide and probably a few teams. But um, yeah. Adelaide's performance absolutely amazing. And uh, Tex Walker looks fantastic. Uh, Adelaide looked really good. And you know Collingwood really will hurt without side bottom because he's a great player. Yes. He yeah. sort of goes on the end of the sentence of Pendle Rear Swan. Um, Adelaide by 26 for me. Yes, fair call. Cool. And we got Gold Coast. And, gee, they need to respond, they yeah. need to respond this week, mate. Um, they were woeful. They've got some killed up. Yeah. Who have you gone with? 
I think they will respond. I think they will respond. Against the worst team points. in the comp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to respond against someone. But look, Ablett, gee, he could barely itch his head with that shoulder. Could he? could <laughs> get his shoulder anywhere, mate. Yeah, it wasn't looking good. Surely he is on the mend. We'll put it down to a bit rusty because otherwise, surely they'd rest him. But yeah. look, Gold Coast are better than what they dished up. And, and St Kilda, they were gallant. Uh, I'm not sure whether Rewild will get up or not, but look, oh, I can't see that. I'd, I know I said I can't see the D's, but I think yeah. I tip with Gold Coast probably at 60. But yeah. look, you'd really think they'll show their truer colours. Rodney gave them a bit of a kick in the bum about, uh, you know, talent and potential. They're only just words. So Same metricon. Yeah, exactly right. Gold Coast for me. Yeah? I've gone with the Suns by 10 points, mate. I think it'll be a reasonably more competitive game. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it might be a bit more than that, but I reckon the Saints will give them a bit of a challenge and maybe... the might take him a bit to get out of first gear. Yeah. Um, Ablett sort of struggling a little bit. Doesn't really help. Um, I think it'll be a close one. They've won the last couple there, I think. Yeah. Okay. So, Suns will get over the line, I think. And if they didn't, well, Rodney. Mm. Yeah. Early but, heat. Yeah. Was... What do they call it? The, the torch? The blow torch. The blow torch. Like. Yep. So, Suns by 10 for me. Yes. Next game up, we have Port Adelaide in Sydney at Adelaide Oval, and gee, we've got another classic mate on our hands. Um, mm. Who takes home the chocolates here? Port Adelaide for mine, ten points. We've got the margin, pretty close one, I think. Gee, Sydney stole it, didn't they? They just stole it from the bombers. I couldn't last believe week. it. Unbelievable! I thought it was all over, but mm. there you go. So they escaped with the four points there, which could prove pretty crucial later. But you know, I think they'll uh, have their work cut out against Port Adelaide. They lost to Fremantle, but. From all reports, in a very good contest that was yeah. of high standard. So it's fantastic. Um, yeah, Port Adelaide for me. How about yourself? Oh, I've gone with uh, Port by four points. You know, it's going to be a classic here at Adelaide Oval, and that's probably why I'm tipping Port Adelaide. So yeah, absolute cauldron, isn't it? Yeah, they, they don't lose there too often. Um, Sydney are a class outfit, and traditionally do start slow as they did against the Bombers in the first half or three quarters. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that no, they're great outfit. They should respond, and even if they don't. Even if they've won two, they've had an extraordinarily tough start. So, oh, yeah. so it's not the worst um, if they lose. But I reckon Paul will just sneak over the line here. Yeah, very tough opener to the whole season. I think yeah. the first five or six weeks is very tough. Yeah, hopefully it's easy for him. But mm. um, and moving on to the next game, we have Fremantle at Simmons Stadium against our Cats, mate. <laughs> yeah, and our boys are uh, fresh off an absolute smashing from the Hawks. Yeah, uh, yeah, we've highlighted that in the review, and uh, feel free to go and watch that. But I'll stick with it, so mate. I'll tip us by six points. Albeit, albeit, I could probably flip a coin and, and go from there. But yeah. okay. as you can see in the review, what, you know our thoughts and whatnot. I think we'll regroup somewhat um, and hopefully put in a good performance. But you know we're tough to beat down there. Dockers might have otherwise to say because they have a fairly good record against us there of late. But uh, yep. I'll stick with us in a very tough match. How about you? Sounds good, mate. I just can't help but laugh at that. <laughs> uh, I've gone with the Dockers for 21 points. Uh, seduced by their first round form, and they were fantastic at uh, the main stadium. I keep, <laughs> keep getting it wrong. I keep saying Patterson's. But, um, uh, they have a great record against us. Russell on loves playing against us. Um, Fremantle's style just beats us. Um, can't help but laugh at it. Yeah, uh, this is quite funny, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I couldn't believe it. Um, what happens if we win? I'll be happy we win, mate, and I hope we do, but I just think Freeman will have much better place to where we could be next week, and I don't think we'll respond that well, but in saying that, I hope I'm wrong. Yeah, we'll, we'll revisit, no doubt. <laughs> you think you're so confident, you <laughs> think Geelong will win, but... No, no, as I said, it's a flip of the coin, but I just can't believe you're laughing. <laughs> All right, no, I'll, I'll, just the way we played, I don't think we can respond oh, quickly. you can't argue with that. Thanks, mate. Thanks. All right. So that's that's my tip for that. That's enough on Freeman. We'll move on to the next one. Yeah. Hawthorne Essendon at the MCG. Who wins? Hawthorne, mate. 51 points. Too easy. <laughs> They're going to smash them, mate. Nah. I think Hawthorne, you know, five hours ago, we just saw them destroy our side. And, and I think we'll be decent. Uh, Bombers, yeah. For three quarters, they were great. No preseason but, for them. Gosh, the Hawks. You can't. You just can't tip against them. No, you can't. Yeah, and I imagine you're not going to. Oh, I think it'll be pretty much the same margin as yeah. it was today. I'm um, going the Hawks by 60 points. Yeah. Um, probably a class and a half, if not two classes above the Bombers. Mm. And uh, they've unveiled some ruthless footy that will set the tone for the season. Yeah, so spot on. Pretty simple there. And the final game, we have North Melbourne and Brisbane. At, I'm pretty sure it's Eddie had. Yeah, I'm it's definitely sure not at Brisbane. So. No. 
Um, who wins here? I think North Melbourne will win. Yeah. Um, I'll tip them by about 22 points. Uh, look, Brisbane were also pretty disappointing. I mean, North, probably the three worst performed sides were Brisbane, Geelong and North Melbourne in the first round. So, yeah, couldn't argue. Um, but I do think North bode some more match winners than Brisbane do. I still think the Lions will struggle to kick continuous winning scores mm. and even stop the likes of um, you know Petrie and all the tall forwards up there because North have, have quite a few. Jared Wade, of course. Um, That's it. So North Melbourne for me, mate. How about you? I've gone with North as well. I think they'll bounce back and they're pretty good at bouncing back. I'm mm. um, going with them by 37 points. Uh, I think they'll touch up Brisbane a little bit. Rockcliffe out really hurts. Yes. Uh, their best player, arguably. Uh, he'll be out for four to six weeks, I think. Mm. Didn't look good at all. Um, so, yeah. It's a big loss. Yeah. Very big loss. I think more or less North Melbourne looked more likely to make a comeback from uh, the terrible performance against... They weren't terrible against Adelaide, but Adelaide were just fantastic. That's right, yeah. Out, outclassed them, um, and I think... Yeah, North at home should bounce back, and Brisbane just don't have anyone up forward or down back, so yeah. it's a simple equation there for me. So those are go. my tips, and yeah. those are your tips. That's our tips. Hopefully, uh, we can pick a few. So yeah. it's not easy though, is it? Oh, Very tight competition. You've only got one game to base yourself, so at the start of the season's always tough, but it gets a little bit easier throughout the year and less upsets almost. So. Yes, yeah, agree. That's how it goes. Um, so yeah, those are the tips from Shorty and myself for round two. Uh, feel free to comment your tips. And any late changes for us, we'll uh, comment those with uh, varying teams and whatnot, but it'll probably say the same. <laughs> uh, yeah, feel free to check out our other videos and subscribe to us and share the content around to everyone you can. Uh, that'd be fantastic and like the video. And we'll be doing this each week, so get around it. Thanks for sticking around, and we'll see you guys all soon.